What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to switch between game-ready drivers and studio drivers. You may want to do this if you use uh, 3D rendering programs, if you use Blender, if you use uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, things like that are better suited for the studio drivers because they're optimized and uh, not necessarily more performant, but more stable uh, and use uh, less of the experimental technology that's used today that gets games running their best. Uh, alternatively, you want to use the game-ready driver when you're playing your games because you want them to be as performant as possible, and a crash here and there isn't going to be the end of the world, right? But if you've been working on something for 40 hours and haven't saved yet for some reason, then don't do that. Uh, you definitely want it to be pretty stable. So uh, this is how to switch between them. And before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Dav. Thank you so much for being a channel member. It means uh, so much to me. Uh, you've been a member for a very long time and I appreciate it. If you want to become a channel member and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. So into the video itself. Uh, if you already have the NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed, we're just going to go ahead and open that up. We'll right click on uh, the icon and choose NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And we're going to go to drivers. Now you'll see that we have the game ready driver here and that's all that shows up. And if we check for updates, that's the only one that's going to show up. But if we click on these three dots in the right hand corner, we can actually choose studio driver and then check for updates. And you'll see that there is a new studio driver. So we can download that one and it's downloading the studio driver alongside the currently installed game ready driver. And now that it's installed, you can go ahead and just click on Express Installation. We'll hit yes. And I'm going to pause the video while it does this because it is going to reset the display adapter and I'm recording. All right, so the uh, studio driver has been installed and we'll see that we have it here. If we go ahead and switch to the game ready driver, you'll see that it allows us to switch right back. So we can go ahead and download and install as we see fit. And that's it. That's how you install uh, the studio or game ready driver and switch between them in the GeForce experience. Thanks so much for watching. Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?